my name is Johann van Paris, and today we will speak about Psalm 118. Today we celebrate Easter. It is the highest of all Christian holidays. It is the day when we celebrate the resurrection, and the resurrection is the key to understanding the Paschal mystery and God's plan of salvation for us. After preparing for 40 days, we have finally arrived. After pondering our sinfulness for 40 long days, we now bask in God's mercy. After meditating on the passion and death of Jesus, today we celebrate his resurrection. There is no more need for fasting from glorias and alleluias and even food. Today is a great day of rejoicing. Rightfully so, we sing Psalm 118 today. It is an exquisite psalm that sings God's praises for God's mercy and love for us. It is thought that this particular psalm was sung while the Israelites processed into the temple in Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. This psalm sings God's praises for the liberation from Egypt and from Babylon. We Christians sing this psalm because to us it is a song of praise for the ultimate liberation, the liberation from the bondage of sin and death through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The key to the Christian understanding in this psalm lies in verse 22. The stone which the builders have rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus used this verse to refer to himself, as we can read in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It was also used in the first letter of Peter, to refer to Jesus. The antiphon or refrain to this psalm is beautifully fit for today as well. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May these words be on our lips today, tomorrow, and throughout the entire Easter season.